guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan video so i'm doing something a little bit different this week i decided to let the stores kind of inspire my meal plan i probably will not be able to have my entire meal plan inspired by what i find at the stores because i am going to do a grocery pickup for my regular like grocery groceries um from fred meyer but i am heading out to grocery outlet i'm at costco right now and i just wanted to kind of shop around and just see what I find that may just, you know, inspire my meal plan. I've just been having a lot of, a lot of trouble meal planning lately. Just nothing sounds good to me. And I'm just, I don't know, just having a lot of trouble. So I just thought I would go out to these two stores, see if I find some things that can help me make my meal plan. And then I'll finish up the rest of my meal plan. Um, when I sit down and do my grocery order and I'll just look at Pinterest for some other things. So I just thought I'd do that. So let me go ahead and head in and then I'll share with you my hauls from Costco grocery outlet and from Fred Meyer. And then also let you know my meal plan. Okay guys. So I have my meal plan for you. Now I ended up going into my freezer as well, looking for any meal ideas. And I had a quite a few things in my freezer I want to use up. So my meal plan is also inspired by that. So I told you I really kind of went into this week with no meal plan, went into the store to see what I could find. So let me tell you what I ended up doing based on what I found in my freezer, in my pantry, and at the stores. First time I've ever done this. Usually I meal plan way before I do all that, but I just wanted to see how it would go. So for breakfast, I'm gonna do some McGriddles. I found some Kodiak Power Cakes for a really good price at Grocery Outlet, so I picked those up. That made me think to do those. I haven't done them in a while. I'm gonna, I have some 99% fat-free turkey in my freezer that I need to use up, so I'm gonna make some homemade sausage out of that. So you'll see that in meal prep, how I make turkey into sausage. It'll have eggs, Canadian bacon, and cheese on those. For lunches, I'm gonna do a buffalo chicken quesadilla. I have some um, tortillas I need to use up. Plus, I found some cauliflower thins that I'm going to put some of mine on those. And then the ones for my son, he'll have them on the, on the tortillas. And I may have the tortillas as well. I'm going to make some homemade coleslaw. And then I found this green tomato salad at Grocery Outlet. I thought it would go really good with um, buffalo chicken. It would kind of offset that spiciness of the buffalo chicken. I also have some ground chicken in my freezer I need to use up. So I'm going to make some chicken cauliflower rice bowls. I have a ton of cauliflower rice I need to use up. So... Um, I'm gonna do those for lunch, so check out, again, my meal prep, that'll be in there. For dinner, I'm gonna do another flatbread. I'm gonna do a taco pizza flatbread. I have some tortilla strips in my pantry and some tortilla chips I need to use up, so I thought that would be really good to crumble some of those on top of the pizzas. And I found my favorite flatbreads at Grocery Outlet, so I picked those up. I'm gonna do a zucchini chicken stir fry, um, and then also, uh, pasta with chicken sausages and broccoli. I have some chicken sausages in my freezer I need to use up and two big things of broccoli, um, frozen broccoli I need to use up. So both of those um, and then I have some, already have the pasta on hand, the fiber gourmet pasta. So I really didn't have to pick up a lot at the store, just mostly produce and then just some filler items. And again, like I said, those items that made me really want to pick everything up. This was my, my big stock up at um, Costco. So what you don't see here, I picked up laundry soap. I picked up toilet paper, paper towels, and um, what was the other big thing? I don't remember. Oh, cat litter and um, some pot potty pads and stuff. So that was what I picked up there, plus the other things I'll show you here. Um, I also picked up some pears at um, Costco. I thought that would be a nice thing. I have a few apples left over from last week, but I, the pears looked good. The raspberries were actually a good price at Costco this week, so I picked up some raspberries. I also picked up some of the cocktail cucumbers. Um, one of the things that I really stress, if you think you're gonna have a busy weekend and just not feeling like you can prep all your um, produce to get your veggies in, pick up the already like small ones, like these, the baby cup carrots. That way, if you don't have time to prep them, you're still getting your vegetables in. So that's what I did this weekend because I knew I had a lot of um, once a month, like cleaning stuff, deep cleaning stuff I was doing this weekend. So I knew I wanted to still get my veggies in, but did not want to have to prep them all. Also picked up bananas, green beans. I have some potatoes left over from last week. So I think I'm going to do like a potato and green bean, like sheet pan with for a side on one of my meals this week. Okay. I picked up shredded romaine. This will be for the taco pizzas. Two things of coleslaw. I'm going to use one of the things of coleslaw to go in those turkey or the chicken 
um, cauliflower rice bowls because it's kind of a spicy sauce I put in this chicken and the coleslaw is just nice to kind of cool it down and then also use the I'm gonna make a homemade coleslaw dressing sugar-free that will go with the buffalo chicken these are my favorite little romaine heads from Costco picked these up I always wrap these individually in paper towels put them in a gallon size bag and they stay fresh for a couple weeks if they even last that long Grocery Atlas, the only place I can find the Salsa Ranch Chop Kit. Really like this one. Um, it is only 100 calories for the serving, so I do have everything that comes with it, all the condiments and the dressing and everything. Um, it just tastes really good. So I'll probably have this for lunch today with some rotisserie chicken. And then the other one I'll save for probably the night we have the taco pizza. I'll have a salad on the side. Green onions. I feel like I never have enough green onions, so I picked up two of them. Um, cilantro. Avocados are zero points on my plan, so I did pick up three of those. Couple of limes, I think I needed one for a recipe, then I decided I'd just get one for like water, same with the lemon. I haven't had any fresh lemon in my water in a while. Um, I picked up these little serrano peppers. I really needed the red chili peppers, but they didn't have any. So I picked these ones up to go in that um, ground chicken cauliflower rice bowl. Lots of zucchini for the zucchini stir fry with the chicken. The beefsteak tomatoes will go in one of my meal preps. The Roma tomatoes, I picked these up to slice up and put on top of the taco pizza. Um, Bolt House Ranch, I have a little bit of this left, but I do plan on having lots of salads this week. So, and then also to go with the, um, I need this to go inside the buffalo ranch, I mean the buffalo chicken quesadillas. Grocery Outlet had the no sugar ketchup for 99 cents and it's good all the way until October. So I picked up two of those because that's a great deal. Never had these before. I've had the regular RX bars, but never the minis. But I'll tell you, the RX bars are really hard to eat a full one. And even though they have super good ingredients, they're really high points and a little bit higher calorie. So they're more like re you know meal replacement like macros for the most part, but they never would fill me up enough. But anyway, I just thought this would be a nice little snack just to have a mini bar. I really been liking the mini kind bars. Um, and I've only been eating like half of the healthy eating on the go bars. So I thought that was perfect. Got those at Grocery Outlet for like $4.99. Um, I found this at Grocery Outlet also. You guys know I really like the cauliflower dips from Fred Meyer. So this is a roasted red pepper. thought this would be fun to try with some pretzels. For the uh, taco pizza, picked up the chunky guacamole. I don't know what this scans, but I'm counting it as zero because all the um, ingredients are zero points. There's no oil, no sugar nothing like that in it. So I'm just counting it as zero points no matter what it scans as. I had a freebie at Fred Meyer for free hummus. So I just picked up the Mediterranean herb. My friend Krista, the one that got me on the Pure Harmless Honey that Pure doesn't seem to be selling anymore. She sent this to me. She says she really likes it. So I'm gonna give this a try. She got it off of Amazon. I will try to remember to link it down below, but here it is. So I'm excited to try this. Um, I just like to have the Greek yogurt on hand for whatever I may need it for. I don't think I had a particular recipe for it this week, but I always like to have that on hand. Costco had a really good sale on this flavor. They had like two flavors they had on sale for like $4 for this big, huge one. I think it was like $4.89. Never tried this one before. You guys know I've been loving the Kinder seasonings. Um, I don't have any plan for it this week, but picked it up so I would have it when I was ready. Fat-free refried beans for the taco pizza taco sauce for the taco pizza. I'll mix this with the um, pepper refried beans to use as like the sauce on the pizza. Um, almond milk for the McGriddle pancakes. I found this at grocery outlet too. I thought it was very really interesting. Um, I've never seen almond flour and coconut flour together. I have a couple mug cake recipes that I'm testing out that I want to use this for. Um, yeah, I just thought this was really interesting. Let me know if you've tried this, um, but they had a grocery outlet for $4.99. thought that was a good price. Um, so for those of you on low carb, you guys would be really interested in this. Picked up another one of the granolas from Safe and Fair. I'm loving the birthday cake. It's my favorite so far, um, but I'm really curious about the key lime pie. These are only $3.99 right now at a grocery outlet. 
Also, I found this at Grocery Outlet. This was one of the reasons why they had this and the Kodiak cakes close by each other, and that's what made me think about doing the McGriddles. Um, so this is only, this was only like $3.99. They have the cinnamon maple one. I do not recommend the cinnamon maple one if you see that. I think it's terrible. That's just my opinion. Do not like it at all. Um, but this was $3.99 at Grocery Outlet. Also, they had their monk fruit golden sweetener. The sucre and gold is my absolute favorite, but it is pretty expensive. And I said, like I said, I was make, doing some like testing on mug cakes. So I like to use brown sugar in most of those and I'm almost out of my sucre and gold. So this was only $3.99. I picked it up, couldn't pass it up because the sucre and gold is like $12. So definitely um, prefer that other one, but this one is also just as good. They had pretzel crisps at Crush Ratlet for only $2 for this large bag. So I got this for all the various dips I picked up this week. I'll show it grocery outlet. I really like these um, kosher dills. But if you look at all this stuff, oh, it is so good. These are like have the best flavor to them. And here are the Kodiak Power Cakes. Um, yeah, they had them there at grocery outlet for like $3.99. So I picked these up and that's what made me think to do the McGriddles. Eggs. And here's that green tomato salad I found there, also at Grocery Outlet. I thought it sounded really interesting. Here's the ingredients. It does have sugar in there, but <clears throat> um, still it just sounds like a really nice, like, refreshing side dish. Did pick up a big thing of chicken tenders at Costco. I love these little individual things. This is enough to have for um, two dinners um, in one of these little packages, so I love that. Canadian bacon for those mixed brittles. I did pick up a rotisserie chicken. Like I said, I'm making it easy this week for meal prep. I'll shred this up, use it for my quesadillas. I'm gonna have a salad with it today. And then I may make a chicken salad out of it just to have on hand um, for, um, you know, a quick, easy dinner or lunch or something like that. Also picked up the Costco, the Fairlife chocolate shakes. Um, whoever told me to do Fairlife, I cannot remember who it was. I wanna say it's Melissa, one of my subscribers, but I'm not sure. Anyway, she was right. These are so good. So pick this up. It's a cheaper than the Premier Protein ones at Costco. They only have my, the chocolate this week, which is fine. Um, I got the salted caramel last time, but this is so good. At Grocery Outlet, they had these fruit cup snacks. They're no sugar added. They're sweetened with stevia. I just thought this would be kind of fun to have. It has peaches, pears, and mandarins. I loved the um, a red grapefruit. I still have two more of those in my refrigerator just thought it was gonna be a nice little snack yes i like fresh fruit best but these are nice to have in the refrigerator just a grab and go sweet snack they haven't had these at costco for the last couple times i've been there so i was glad to see these i like to crisp these up in my air fryer make them nice and crispy and then use them in place of like toast i use like avocado toast i may put some of my buffalo chicken that i'm making and just crisp these up in the air fryer put the buffalo chicken on top add a little bit of cheese or something on top and then have this in place of the quesadillas. And then when I heat them up, I can just throw them in the air fryer again to crisp them up again. Love these, I use them as like tostada shells. Um, they're really, really good. And I believe, I'll have the points here on the screen, but I believe for two of them, it's either two or three points, but they're really good. Here are my favorite lavash breads. These are only $1.99 at Grocery Outlet. These ones I love even better than the Joseph ones. For the entire sheet, it's 100 calories, two points, they are great, they crisp up really great. When I make my pizzas, I always put them in the oven first for five minutes to get them crispy, and then I put all my toppings on top, and I put them back in the oven, and that's how I get a really crispy flatbread pizza. Picked up popcorners. I was gonna get some more Skinny Pop, but it was not on sale, and this was on sale this week for $6 and something, so I picked this up instead. They do have more points than the pop than the Skinny Pop. I think these range between three to four points, but I usually can fit that into my day, no problem. Here's all the different flavors. Oh, this was the other thing I got at Costco, so I picked up a big thing of the Magic Erasers. Um, these were these were on sale this week, so picked those up. And that is everything, you guys. I did spend a little bit more this week, but most of the things are gonna last me more than, I mean, like the shakes will last me almost a month. I still have a few left over from last week. This will last me well over a month. Um, toilet paper, paper towels, all that will last <laughs> well over a month. So it's been a little bit more, but it was my stock up for the week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned tomorrow for meal prep. I have tons of things to show you that homemade sausage, the McGriddles. Um, yeah. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.